Hey lovies, welcome back to Kindly's TV and for today's video, I'm going to give you swatches of this brand called GB Cosmetics and I received 6 shades of their color wand. These are moisturizing lip color balm and I'm going to read what's in the box first. So on this side, exclusively manufactured for GT Cosmetics Manufacturing Inc. So this is a Cebu brand and then on this side also nandito yung kanyang ingredients and on the next side is yung label and on the next side is the product description it says that it is a high pigment moisturizing lip color balm that has a rich and vibrant color that can help you achieve a stunning and amazing look so it has 3.5 grams and on the bottom you have the shade it is also made in taiwan so here are the six shades so ayan siya guys so pag titignan mo siya i guess meron na kayong iisipin na parang brand na halos same ng packaging or parang similar ang packaging obviously medyo similar ng revlon na packaging na color matte bomb and kukuha ako ng isang ganon so ayan siya guys so this one is Revlon and this one is the GT Cosmetics as you can see medyo mas matangkad ng medyo mas matangkad ng onte si GT Cosmetics ng mga ilang ilang talagang parang millimeters lang talaga mas parang mas mataas lang yung takip niya So, pag binuksan mo, makita mo yung height difference na mas mataas naman si Revlon. So, sa takip lang sila nagkatalo. And also, sa packaging, mas shiny si GT Cosmetics and si Revlon is matte yung kanyang packaging. Anyway, that, let's not differentiate the two. Kasi yung isa international brand and this one is a local product. I have here Kyoto Cherry Blossom, the one I'm holding. And then next is London Royal, which is matte, pero shiny pa rin yung packaging. And then you have your Kiss in Paris, NYC Rush, Sunset Grease, which is matte, and then Soul and Heart. So yung darker shades, matte, and then yung nude pink, red, and fuchsia is I think more sheen or parang balm lang talaga. So let's start with... NYC Rush kasi siya yung pinaka nude. So, bago ko gamitin, let's twist up to the dulo. So, ayan lang siya guys. That's 3.5 grams. So, syempre meron pa siguro sa loob niyan. Pero, yan lang yung nakikita. Ayan ang daliri ko. One and a half inch lang yung visible na part. So, ayan. Okay. Let's smell it first. Hindi ko siya masyado maamoy. Medyo may fruity pero barely there naman yung scent. Yung swatch, nagpe-film. It is pigmented guys. Grabe. So para siyang may sheen ng onte, Parang creamy. Na napaka smooth ng application kasi nga bomb. Very easy to apply, very smooth and very, very soft ng texture. And in fairness, pigmented. And this shade is a nice everyday color. Ang maganda sa color wand na lip balm na to, na si shape mo yung lips mo unlike yung parang mga nasa round tube lang na mga lip balm na colored lip balm. And this one, highly pigmented na lip balm and talaga moisturizing siya talagang very smooth sa lips, hindi siya sticky. Hindi naman siya yung mukhang mantika sa lips. Aganda siya pang hydrate. And maganda rin siya i-wear like this. Again, this is NYC Rush. Siyempre, try kong tanggalin with wet wipes and if mag-stain ba siya or completely matatanggal niya. 
So, hindi siya masyado staining. I mean, hindi talaga siya staining at all. Pero, ang soft agad ng lips ko, na-hydrate niya agad. Next naman ay ang um, Soul and Heart. So, ito talaga yung mga colors na usually ginagamit ng mga Koreans and they'll use this kind of color na pang parang tint lang. Pag pinapurse ko yung lips ko, natitransfer yung color and naganda pa rin yung nasa lower lip. I'm liking this color. Very pop ng pagka pink niya. The consistency nung una, very moisturizing sa lips. Next shade is Kyoto Cherry Blossom. So, medyo darker or mas warm yung tone niya kaysa dito sa Soul and Heart. So, hindi pala recording kanina yung pag-apply ko nitong red na Kiss in Paris. Ang dami ko pa namang sat-sat. And anyway, ito siya yung swatch ko. Yung nga sabi ko, medyo red-orange siya. Pero hindi naman siya overwhelming na kind ng red. Na, hindi siya OA na red. So, yeah. Again, this is Kiss in Paris. So, next shades yung matte finish daw na mga moisturizing lip color bomb. I'm going to use London Royal. So, ito, matte nga siya in fairness. Pero hindi naman yung super matte. Mas na less lang yung sheen o yung sheerness niya compared dun sa unang apat na hindi matte ang kanyang claim. And maski dito sa kanyang ano, lipstick eh hindi siya ganun ka shiny. So, matte nga siya, guys. Ang ganda ng color niya, guys. Maganda. Alam nyo, hindi lang siya basta parang lip color bomb, to be honest. Parang lipstick na yung kanyang pigment and opacity and yung texture. Medyo, ito, medyo mararamdaman mo na siya sa lips compared dun sa apat na lightweight and this one mararamdaman mo. Para, para na siyang lipstick para sa akin. Plus, kasi matte finish. Pero hindi naman super duper matte. Nandun pa rin yung texture, yung softness niya as a lip balm. Still moisturizing. And I super love the color. <laughs> Guys, I love it. Nakakaputi yung color. Last but not the least is Sunset Crease na kiniklaim din ay matte. Ooh, ang ganda. It's a, actually talagang totally brown shade. Oh, I love it. I love it. Promise, para na siyang lipstick, guys. This color, grabe. So bold. Grabe. Sabi nga, nag-comment si Andy nung natanggap ko to and sabi niya maganda tong grease and Andy, tama ka. Grabe. I love this color. Super, super, duper. Super love ko yung mga brown shade. Super ganda niya. Para, promise, para siyang lipstick. Yung dalawang matte is, ayan, pack. Pero hindi siya super duper matte. Pero, mas na less yung kanyang sheerness and everything. Pero, nandun pa rin yung pagiging moisturizing niya.
So that's it for my swatches and some of my first impressions on this product. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!